Eric here with Eric Reviews and today I will be reviewing Versace the Dreamer. Alright guys so here's a bottle of uh, Versace the Dreamer and I bought the tester so I don't have the box. It's got a pretty nice Medusa head in the middle. Stands out. Pretty, pretty good looking bottle. It's very unique and it has no cap because uh, the atomizer is pretty much this so it doesn't come off alright guys so there's a, the bottle of uh, Versace the Dreamer and uh, this is a kind of an old scent it came out in uh, 1996 and this the nose behind this fragrance was uh, John Pierre Bethar and uh, all right, so the notes on this is a uh, lavender, mandarin orange, and sage, sitting on mint notes of a uh, geranium, rose, tobacco, and carnation, with the uh, base notes of cedar, vetiver, tonka bean, and fir. All right, let's give this a spray. Yeah, it sprays really good, it sprays a lot. And then uh, right away, you get like a like spicy tobacco, a little sweet. Kind of smells like lavender and tobacco. Yeah. Kind of get a hint of the roses that are in there also. It's pretty unique. I don't think I've smelled anything like this and and I have a lot of designer fragrances but it, this is a unique one yeah, it smells uh, sm smells different but not like in a bad way and uh, as far as uh, projection and longevity I get about three solid hours of projection this is a it's a beast and then uh, eight to nine hours of longevity and this is a cheapie. I mean, this is one of the best performing cheapies that I have, that I've ever smelled actually. And yeah, it's, it's pretty strong. I still smell the be the what is that? Tonka bean now, tobacco and lavender. It smells different, really different. And as far as when I would wear this, I think I'd wear this in the fall. It has like a fall vibe, maybe maybe spring fall and spring and I don't think I'd wear this to the office it's too overpowering I'd probably wear this if I'm hanging out outside maybe a cookout or if I'm doing something outside because it's it's a strong performer and people might you can't wear this to the gym I think when you sweat it projects even more like I was wearing it I started sweating and it started projecting even stronger if it, it felt like I had just sprayed it on when I started sweating so this is a monster performer and then as far as price I paid a I think I paid like 18 to 19 dollars for this on eBay but I seen it on fragrance net and it might be a little cheaper I'm not sure so this is a I recommend this if you're a I don't recommend it for a younger people younger crowd and you're not really gonna get compliments you might get compliments but from like older people I don't think young people are gonna like this and this is like a 30 30 years old and above fragrance that's like the that's when you should wear it if you do decide to wear this and as far as rating I think I'm gonna give it a probably a 9 out of 10 I know Jeremy Fragrance gave it a 10 out of 10, but it's not really mass appealing, so, I mean, you're not really going to get, like, a lot of compliments, and just for that, give it a 9. Let's do 9.5 out of 10, because this projects like a beast, uh, it's cheap, and it's, uh, it's Versace, I think it's his last, uh, the last fragrance he made before he passed away. So 9.5 out of 10, and uh, let's see what the dry down smells like.
Okay, still, uh, now you can smell more of the rose notes, the more of the flowers. I think the the cedar's starting to come out, and the, the vetiver. Still smell a little the tobacco. It's a, it's a really good smell, I mean, it's it's not bad, but it is different. I mean, I'd get a, if you're young and you're barely getting into fragrances, I don't think you're going to like this. You're probably going to be more into the fresh, the blue fragrances. But I suggest you get a decant first, and then maybe buy the big bottle. And I do sell decant, so you can message me and I could get you a 10 mil or a 5 mil of this for pretty cheap I mean mostly paying for shipping and uh, so there you have it guys don't forget to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe for more uh, fragrance reviews and I'm out